Brian Morris here. I'm a certified health and wellness coach and today I'm going to be sharing with you some simple summer slim down side dishes and snacks. So this is going to be some quick and easy recipes that you can take with you if you're going um, to a barbecue or a grill out or a birthday party or um, just something to take with you for a snack for work. Just some quick and easy things. So our first dish is really one of those last minute where you've been invited somewhere and you're like, oh no, what am I gonna take? So I have something that's um, safe for me on the program so I don't derail this bikini body. So the first thing you're gonna do is make a quick and easy um, veggie tray. Now your veggie tray can have on it broccoli, cauliflower. Um, I have these mini sweet peppers as well as um, cherry tomatoes. The mini sweet peppers usually come in a bag like this. Um, I like to also grill these because you don't have to cut them up. They're really easy to throw on your dish or you can throw them like this hole on the grill. They're usually coming in um, orange, red, and yellow. So they're really colorful and bring some different colors to your plate and just look really festive. So I coat these in olive oil and I put a little bit of salt and herbs on them or you could do salt and cracked black pepper and you grill them whole. They have hardly any seeds in them so they're great to grill. Um, so that's something you can do. Now instead of using ranch dressing like most people do on your vegetable plate, you can use this Opa dressing. This is a jalapeno ranch and it has 66% less fat than ranch dressing and it doesn't have all of the artificial preservatives, MSG, um, it's gluten free. It's just a really quick and easy thing that you can throw in. Um, Tammy Steely brought this one night when we were having a distributor um, grill out here at the house and she brought a veggie tray like this with this jalapeno ranch and I've loved it ever since. Um, it's also great on taco salads and things like that. So this is something you can do if you're on phase one of the program or phase two. So that's just a quick and easy thing to take with you. Now I've already made these, but I want to tell you how to make these quick and easy almonds. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can do them, but you just want to buy a bag of raw almonds that aren't cooked, that don't have anything added to them, no salt or anything. Um, you want to add about a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil to about a cup of almonds. So not very much. You don't have to saturate them. You just want enough to coat them where the ingredients that we're adding are going to stick. So I've added cinnamon and special dark chocolate, 100% cocoa. And you just want to um, move them around and coat them really well and add just a little sprinkle of sea salt, not much. And once you coat them, you want to put them in a preheated 350 degree oven and leave them for five minutes. Once they've cooked five minutes, just stir them around with your spatula and leave them for another five to seven minutes until they're aromatic. And then you can just put them in, um, in an airtight lid container and just have them in your purse, in your car, something really good to keep in your console, um, just to have on the go during the summer. Our next um, little recipe here is something that I discovered kind of by accident. We were at um, a grill out the other night at a friend's house and someone brought orange stuff. Now, if you live in the South, you probably know exactly what orange stuff is, but because this is nationwide, I want to share for, with those of you who don't know what orange stuff, what it is. So orange stuff is simply cottage cheese, cool whip, um, canned pineapple that's crushed and you drain it with uh, mandarin oranges smashed up and orange jello. Okay, so those aren't typical things, um, the canned fruit and things like that that we have on our program. So I've made this a healthy snack that you can use even on phase one of our program. Now, if you're on phase one, you know as a snack, you can have your orange trimbolic along with cottage cheese. So what you would do is just mix your orange trimbolic, a good heaping scoop of that, to a half a cup of cottage cheese and mix that together. Now, once you mix that together, you can add coconut extract or coconut pineapple extract. Um, Deborah Phillips was just telling me that she found a brand called Promise and it has nothing artificial in it and there's a pineapple mango flavor that would be absolutely delicious in this. So that's something you could also try. Now, if you're taking this as a side dish to a barbecue, you want to get 16 ounces of your cottage cheese and you want to mix it with True Whip. Now this is definitely, if you're on the um, maintenance part of our program, 
um, or on phase two. So this is gluten-free, has no hydrogenated oils, no trans fats, no high fructose corn syrup, and only two grams of sugar per two tablespoons. So that's only half a teaspoon. So True Whip is available um, at Bilo if you live here locally. Um, if not, you can get it at Kroger, usually at Publix as well. Um, so you're gonna mix half a container to this to 16 ounces of um, your cottage cheese and you would use about four tables or four heaping spoonfuls of your trimbolic and then I've added fresh peach and fresh nectarine are really good with this so that's something you could add in just add as much fresh fruit or whatever flavors you like it'll be really good with mango and um, maybe some shredded coconut would be delicious um, you could also use fresh pineapple as well so you can kind of change that up um, for your taste and if you're on phase one, you just want to mix this with your trimbolic, and then if you're on phase two, you can add in the Cool Whip with all of the other ingredients and the fresh fruit. So it's a great snack mid-morning or in the afternoons if you're wanting something a little sweet. This is a delicious recipe. Um, Missy has tried it and she loves it. I love it. We've had several people that really like this. So give it a try because I wasn't a big fan of cottage cheese, but it's really good. So. Even though you have cottage cheese here, you're not going to have any on the back of your legs if you're using your trim box. So make sure you're doing that at least twice a day. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I hope you enjoy these summer um, slim down snacks and side dishes. And you can visit my website, briannemorris.com. If you have any questions, just comment below and uh, message me your number and I'll be happy to give you a free consultation by phone. I hope you all have a wonderful summer.